Alright, so since we get all our supplies ready to go, um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you how I track down botters, uh, how I find out who's a botter and who's not one. So we'll head down to the Thais Ancient Temple and we'll see what we can find down here. Um, what you're looking for when you come into a new area is, because you don't know what you're going to find, you can find regular people or botters. Um, what you want to do is follow the blood trail. You want to go up, you want to look at the blood, and you want to see how fresh the blood is on whatever is dead. Then you just want to keep going and follow, you know, find another dead body. And you see how this dead body, it's fresh too, and the pool of blood is actually bigger than the body that's back here. So what happened was they, whoever killed that one up top killed this one second. So then you just follow the path. You know what way that they went just by the freshness of the blood. So there's the guy now. Um, one guy that's in here at least. And we don't know whether or not he's a botter or not. Um, so how do we find out? Well, um, one thing we can look at is we can look inside the dead bodies of the orcs and we can see whether or not he's leaving gold pieces inside the dead bodies. If he is leaving gold in there, then most likely he's so full of gold that he doesn't have any room to pick up anything else. So he's just cram packed full. So he's just leaving the gold inside the bodies. Um, <clears throat> another thing you can do is you can look at their level. Um, for instance, this guy is a level 77. And he's down here killing regular orcs. And he could easily be out killing dragons, he could be killing dragon lords, giant spiders, I mean anything I mean even if he was killing orc warlords, you know, at least that's harder than killing regular orcs. I mean this guy is just going up and killing these orcs in one hit. So I mean that's just another thing that you can look at and say, well, what's this level seventy seven doing down here? You know, if there's no quests around or anything like that, if you just see him going in a continuous path, path killing him, then you know he's probably a botter. Uh, as you follow him around, um, you'll notice something too. He's not asking me anything. He's not asking me why I'm following him or anything. I can go up to him, I can dance in his face, I can push him around, I can do anything I want to, and he's not saying anything to me. He's not asking me why I'm following him, he's not uh, pushing me back, he's not saying stop, he's not doing anything. So I could just sit there and follow him all day and he's not going to say anything back. But a normal person would ask. They would be like, what are you following me for, you know? So that's another good way that you can tell whether or not someone's a botter or not. So now that we're pretty sure that this guy is a botter, um, we'll go ahead and follow him around. Um, what the purpose of this is, is it lets you know what path he takes. Like knowing that he's fixing to go down this hole will be helpful because when you use your Exiva spell, like say you lose track of him, you can use your Exiva spell and you can figure out basically where he might be because you know the exact path that he takes. And as you follow him as well, you're going to want to look and see if he stands on any waypoints. If he stops for a second, like he's stopping right here, I'll just put a gold coin right there so that I know whether or not um, he's got that waypoint. And what you can do with that is maybe put a trough on there or um, summon and do an animate dead and circle him with flowers right there and just test whether or not his bot will stand there and not be able to move because it's on his waypoint. And of course you can always just go in front of him and kill all the orcs or rotworms or larvae, whatever it is that he's botting or hunting if you don't know if he's a bot yet. And if he doesn't say anything, if he doesn't tell you to stop or something, then yeah, he's probably a bot because most people will say something if you're killing the monsters that they're hunting. Um, you can also, if he goes down holes, rope him up like this, and if he comes up, walks around like an idiot, and then goes back down and doesn't say anything to you, doesn't tell you to stop, doesn't say anything, then yeah, definitely, 
I mean, this guy's a bot for sure. So that's basically all I have is in the way of tracking down bots and telling who's definitely a botter. Um, I'll go ahead and report this guy just like I report everybody else and uh, try to kill him.